Alright, hey guys, this is Toxic XX Sniper bringing you a tutorial on how to do the jigsaw effect, and it's a really easy tutorial, and this is Toxic XX Sniper, by the way, if you didn't hear. I'm 12 years old, yes, um, amazing. It's really easy, and it should look like, the, the jigsaw effect should look like this, but it's not that hard, by the way. And anyway, this is my first commentary, my first tutorial, whatever. And Toxic XX Sniper is only a current gamer tag. I'm going to change it sometime in the future, like something to X Relapse. So, anyways, just this is what it should look like. Yep, see how it kind of fades in and everything? It's all good. And it plays with the rest of the video as soon as it gets done with that. So, just open up a new project. And, no, I don't want to save the changes. Get your best rendering settings. You look them up on YouTube. And, I kind of failed right here trying to work with my stuff. Like, close out some stuff. But, you know. So anyways, import your clip. I'm just going to use something I'm going to use in my montage. not going to spoil it for you. I'm just going to split it or it's not showing the clip I good clip I got. So. Yeah. So just going to split the clip and make it where I want it. And what you got to do is find the one frame where you want to make this jigsaw effect. Like, I want to make mine about right here. So, I'm going to split it, delete the other part, and what I want to do now is get to this. Didn't mean to do that. And try to get to that frame and save it. Save that little picture, whatever frame. You don't have to really go up, look for it. Um, that's like a, what I like about Sunny Vegas. It's right there in the project media. Just save it somewhere on your desktop, and and it should appear right in a second. So. Here we go. Right. M. Well, just kind of had to put a random name for it. Well, now you have to insert three video tracks for the jigsaw effect. So bring in one of the pictures, and I'm just going to move this clip out of the way. Go to the event, or I'm just going to make this smaller, just real quick, just to kind of make it real quick. Go to event pan crop, and use the masking option, which is at the bottom left, where is position. Click the second thing, little object, anchor creation tool. And what I'm going to do right now is just go ahead and make it where I want it. Because that's what I do. And just keep going around it. And I'm just going to make mine around the gun. Because really not sure. Just to make a really quick tutorial for y'all. And just make sure it goes around the, the picture. Not in the picture because it will kind of cut off the... MJPEG picture. First, as you can see, you can see what I just cut off and masked, all that. Open up the second one, or, wait, hold on. Control V and copy it, bring it up to the second layer. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go around it, around the picture, and see, it kind of makes it right there, like makes that whole picture. And, anyways, as you can see, it kind of goes right there clips it on but you don't want to do that. I'll teach you how to do that in a second. So copy control V and bring it up. Do the masking option. Make sure it goes around that. It's a problem some people have. They can't ever get that right so just as you can see it makes that part right. Makes it the full picture as you can see. But um fade all the pictures and it will make it look better like this. Oops, my bad. Now you have to drag the clip in to the other picture and make sure all the fades are kind of like that. Make each fade into fade. 
make some. I'm gonna make some longer fades. Cause it's a short video. And I guess yep. Now I'm gonna put the clip where I, at the end, and it should look like this: the jigsaw effect. So, anyways, it's gonna lag because my computer is very slow. And that's all you basically have to do. And just remember, before you do this, I would suggest adding some color correction, which I'm gonna tell you in one of my next tutorials. I'll be showing you my my color correction. So thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and go check out my channel and subscribe to this channel.